I'd like to show you kind of a cool thing you can do with Acrobat 9. Uh, and this doesn't have to be Pro Extended. You guys can see I have Pro Extended here. But suppose you want to have a PDF. Let me go open a PDF. And this is my done version here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have it go into full screen mode, which is kind of presentation, right? So I'll click yes. And I want some kind of message out here that somebody could have, you know, a little helpful tips, hips, that, that sort of thing. But they click to continue and it goes away. So watch. I click to continue. And they just see the document. And they can continue going through. And if there's buttons and stuff, they kind of figure out how to work with them. Now, it's just a simple message. It shows up one time. Um, if they open and close, even if they go back to the first page, it won't really show up. But anyway, let me show you how this is done. It's actually kind of cool. It uses layers. So I'm going to open up a PDF that I created from any application. It doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Layers panel over here on the left. And if you don't see it, you can right-click or control-click right over here in this bar and choose Layers. That'll show it. And what we can see is we have an option in Acrobat 9, and you won't see this in earlier versions, called Import as Layer. This is awesome. So I'm going to go over to a program, let's say like um, Illustrator or InDesign. It doesn't matter where you guys create this, but I'm going to create a PDF page, a single page, that just, you know, has what I want on it. So I've got some content out here, text, you know, a button, that sort of thing. Now I use Illustrator because I get to set opacities and things like that are preserved if you use Photoshop or InDesign, sometimes they get flattened. So you want to be careful about how you, you save them as a PDF. So I've already saved this as a PDF. I just went to File, Save As. And if you guys are in, like, let's say uh, InDesign, it's just Export, that kind of thing. Once I save it, I'll go back over to Illus or to uh, photo uh, Photoshop, really. Go back over to Acrobat, sorry. Got my PDF open I want to add this to. Come to Layers, click on the little cog here, and say Import as Layer. You got to be on the page you want it on, you guys. You don't want to be on a different page. So I'll click Browse up here to browse for the picture, or the PDF, rather, I saved. And you'll see Cover, I called it. Now, look, check out all the things that you can actually pull in. Now, I'm I'm on Windows, you guys. So, And I'm using photo, uh, Extended, Acrobat Extended. So you may not see as many on Mac, for sure. You won't see as many. But there are some you can use. TIFFs, that sort of thing. I'll click Select. And this is what it's going to look like on top of the page. It just slaps it right on there. And it says, which page do you want to put it on? You can, you know, try two, three, whatever. I'll put it on page one. It's going to create a new layer. So we need to name the layer. So I'll just call this cover. And we could add it to an existing layer if there were layers in there, but I don't have any. And we can copy the layers from the source file if we really want to. So you could turn off individual pieces. We can position it however we want relative to the page, you know, uh, move it around, center it which is automatically going to happen. We can even change the opacity down here, which is kind of cool. So if you realize that, you know, maybe you want it to have a little transparency, you can do that. Okay, I'll click OK. Puts it out there. Awesome. Now, you'll see it show up in layers over here as a layer, and you can turn it on and off. Just go like that. Now, we're going to add a little button here. So I'm going to come up top to uh, my toolbars up here. I usually wind up right-clicking somewhere up here or control-clicking on Mac and go to Advanced Editing. And what we're going to do is go to the button tool here. So I'll click on button. And there's 50 ways you guys can get to this. Click on the button tool. Come out here. I'm just going to click and drag to make a little button here. You can make the whole page a button. It doesn't matter. And it just sticks it out there. Now, I'll name it. Uh, I'll call it cover or something like that. And I'll click show all properties. Now, this is going to make it so we can go in and do some different things. I'm going to go to appearance. And get rid of the colors here. So I'm going to say no color for border or fill. That's cool. So you can see right through it. Options we don't really need to mess with. I'll go to actions. Now we're going to set two actions here. We're going to make it to where if I click the button out there, it's going to hide this layer. Okay. And we want to hide the button. Because otherwise, <laughs> the button's going to be kind of sitting out there and they can interact with it still. So I'll say set layer visibility. Now the way it works is if you choose from the actions here on mouse up, set layer visibility, you have to set the layer visibility first and then click add. So meaning you got to tell it what to do with the layers first. So I'll click to hide the layer. That's really bizarre, but this kind of goes blank. It's because the button's been deselected. So move it out of the way, click back on the button, and click add to set the layer visibility. And it's going to say, oh, okay, well, whatever's over there is set right now is the way it's going to set it. So I'll click OK and we're good. Now, mouse up, one last thing here for action. We're going to show hide this field, this button. So I'll click Add and say the Cover button, we're going to hide it. Click OK. 
and that's it. So when somebody clicks and lets go of their mouse, mouse up, we'll have it set the layer visibility, show hard to field, and we should be good to go. So I'll click close. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to put it into full screen mode, which there's 50 ways to do this. Um, one of the ways I can do is if you go to the pages panel here, come to the first page. Now this is going to get annoying, you guys, the way if, if we do it this way because it's going to turn on and off every time you go to the first page. So you might not want to do it this way, but anyway, um, I'll show you guys in another tip how to do that a bit, the better way. Let's save this. So I'll save the file. And usually, you guys, if you're going to save a file, you want to do a save as. That way you can overwrite the original and replace it and be good. I'll close it and open it up again under File, History down here, Vacation or Open. You guys can do that too. And there we go. Now I'll put it in the full screen mode. It's Control L, or if you come under Window, you'll see full screen mode. There we go. Now let's test it out. So I'll get the finger, the hand, I'll click the button, and it's gone. So you'll notice if I use my mouse here or click to go around, once I come back, it's not going to show up, only going to show up if I close and open the file. So there we go. I'll hit escape to get out of full screen mode. And you've got yourself a cool little message that you can stick on the front of the PDF file and do whatever you want. You can go crazy with this, you guys. There's tons of stuff you can do. So.